Did you know that there's something you can do to determine the odds of you going into labor within the next two weeks? It's called the fetal fibronectin test. And I didn't know about it until just recently either, so I'm here to tell you about it. Welcome to the DeConta channel, where we discuss all things educational and we never duck away from difficult topics. First things first, what the heck is fetal fibronectin? Simply put, fibronectin is just a protein that your baby is producing. It keeps the amniotic sac, you know, the thing that's filled with your water or the amniotic fluid, attached to your uterus lining. It turns out that if the amniotic sac starts to separate from the uterus wall or the uterus lining, from the shortening of the cervix or contractions or the placenta separating from the wall of the uterus or any other number of things that this fibronectin protein can be released around or in the area of your cervix. So here's the thing. If you happen to be between weeks 22 and 34 of pregnancy and you're worried about going into preterm labor, then you can ask your OB to swab around your cervix using basically just a cotton swab and test for the presence of this fibronectin protein. Now, if it does happen to be present, that's not a guarantee that you're going to go into labor early. However, it's just basically saying you're at a higher risk for going into labor within the next two weeks time, in which case that might help you mentally prepare for the, uh, possibility of that happening and could give your OB the chance to give you some steroids and help your little one's lungs develop if they should be born prematurely. However, if this protein is not present, then it's a really great indicator that you will not be going into labor within the next two weeks at least. So you can take a nice big breath of relief. Now, if you do think that you might be going into preterm labor because you're exhibiting some of the symptoms like lower dull back pain, lower pelvic pressure, vaginal bleeding, water leaking, or frequent contractions, or perhaps you've gone into preterm labor before so you recognize the signs and symptoms thereof, then just be sure that you do not have sex within 24 hours of getting this fetal fibronectin test done. Also, don't use a douche or any kind of vaginal lotion or vaginal medication or anything else that would go up there because it could interfere with the test and give you a false positive. Now keep in mind, this test only works if you happen to be within the time frame of weeks 22 to 34 gestational age. Anything before that and anything after that, it's pretty normal to have the fetal fibronectin around your cervix as it is. So it's not a good indicator before 22 weeks or after 34 weeks. Speaking of signs of of preterm labor, I felt my little one sitting really low this week. So there was a lot of lower pelvic pressure, which of course made me freak out. And then I started feeling like low key Braxton Hicks contractions. They weren't constant, but I was definitely feeling them. And I don't remember feeling them that early with my first pregnancy. So I really panicked and started doing a Google search. And that's how I found this fetal fibronectin test in the first place. I've also been battling some excruciating hip pain this week to the point where I actually threw up from the pain and I had to use my mop handle as a makeshift cane to walk around my house for a few days. But I was finally able to get my SI joint put back into place by a chiropractor, and he told me to ice it in 20 minute intervals until the pain kind of subsided. Although I was really looking for that instant relief that you get from a nice back crack, it still took a day or two, but after that I was finally able to walk again. Moral of the story here, if you're pregnant and if you were in as much pain as I was, just go see a chiropractor already. Bite the bullet, pay the fee, just do it. You'll thank me later. So what does our little one look like this week? Our baby is almost 10 inches or 25 centimeters long. So that's roughly the length of a papaya or a spaghetti squash as seen in the model here. Baby is still just about two ounces short of a pound and is definitely looking a lot more like a newborn now, just a lot smaller, obviously. Now, unlike this baby doll that I'm using to demonstrate what our little one looks like, his or her skin would still be very wrinkly, so not filled out and chubby like this baby doll is representing. That's because our little ones haven't put on enough fat to look as 
plump as this baby doll does. Their lips would also still not be as distinct as the lips on this baby doll, although it's getting closer each and every day. Also, their eyes would still be shut at this point, unlike the uh, model here, whose eyes are wide open all the time. And speaking of their eyes, their eyes wouldn't even have pigmentation yet. So kind of weird to think about your baby having closed eyes and no eye color at all at this point. So white eyes. Hmm. So if you happen to be experiencing some signs and symptoms of preterm labor, and you happen to be between weeks 22 and 34 gestation, go ahead and give your OB a call and see if they can do the fetal fibronectin test for you and set your mind at ease or get your mind prepared for preterm labor. Would you get the fetal fibronectin test done if you were having signs and symptoms of preterm labor? Let me know in the comments below. These videos take quite a bit of time to make, but it would only cost you a second to like this one. To follow me in this 40 week pregnancy series, all you have to do is subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next week.